I don't know what we were we were planning to talk about, but we I have to dial it back and go back to um, Officer Joseph. Um, I knew you would. I, I, what, that's why I didn't even ask what you wanted to talk about. To, I knew Michael, you would. Go ahead. I go, have go ahead. to. Go ahead. Because it <clears> seems <throat> that number one, I want to acknowledge it's not easy. Uh, stepping out on a limb and representing what uh, for a lot uh, is not a popular opinion, at least not amongst uh, many black and brown people who are taken to the street. Not, not a lot of white people sometimes too. If you look at what America is saying um, in the wake of murder, Derek Chauvin um, set to go to prison. America says mm -hmm. there's something wrong here. There's something wrong and even systemically racist. America is admitting blacks and browns are treated more harshly, disproportionately than our white counterparts. I was triggered by Mr. Joseph's uh, statements and um, personal stance and personal view. Like what, what triggered um, you the most? Believing what that- What triggered you the most? Well, well for, for one, when he said that he almost had to use deadly force four times as a police officer, that must be devastating. I was with him. I was with him as he related right. that and mm -hmm. talked about the difficulty. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when he turned to the part where he said that had he had to use deadly force, it would have been all about him and how he would have been felt, how he would have felt after that. that had me back right. all the way off of him. Yeah. Um, when he right. discussed how <clears throat> he, he never heard anyone say the N-word next to him and that <sighs> no one next to him said, let's go kill some black people. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know that we need him to, to hear that. <clears throat> we know what we're seeing. We know what's yeah. going on in America. And this, this thing that there's just a few bad apples, nothing to see here, let's just get... Again, what do we know about bad apples? The system is broken. And if we cannot have a baseline conversation about policing in America and some really messed up st that's going on around here, then I, I found myself, I don't, it, it was like a unicorn moment, a unicorn moment. Right. I mean, no disrespect, right. but that is exactly from, <laughs> yeah, I'm so flustered. Recalling no, all of no, the names I understand. in my head, I, I, I just yeah, huh? I I get it. I mean, once again, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to echo what you said. It we applaud him for actually coming on and taking a stance because he stood by it, right? Okay, so we do that. But when it comes to not hearing the N word, not hearing or seeing some of your colleagues go out and say, "Hey, let's go out here and harass a bunch of black people," do you necessarily have to hear that because? A lot of times racism isn't heard, it isn't seen. We feel racism. Don't you it's feel it? It's the LAPD. It's the LAPD. I know, and it happened. And, it's, and, we, and we know it's rampant. It. And, and he's seen and, it. And too? he's seen it and he's felt it as a black man, as a citizen, as an individual uh, before he went into the LAPD. So it's not like he got his badge and all of a sudden just disappeared. It didn't. What I had a problem with when he came on is when he realized, when I realized he didn't take LeBron's tweet out of context. Because when I read LeBron's initial tweet, I didn't look at it as, okay, this is your next, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna hunt you down and we're gonna put your life in danger. I looked at it as, okay, Derek Chauvin just convicted. Hey, you're about to get your day in court too because you're gonna be reviewed and you're gonna be possibly prosecuted, and now it's time for you to have your day in court because <laughs> accountability is key. That's the way I looked at it. But so when he took it that way and he basically said, hey, you know what, you're putting them in danger, you don't know what it's like to be a police officer out here. No, LeBron had this right. We are in a very turbulent time. We are in emotional times right now where black people want that accountability. So yes, if you put out a tweet like that, we want you have to, to understand that, especially Especially as a black man, you would think that you would understand where he was coming from with that tweet. So when I, once I found His out, he was like not looking at it and saying, oh. "Sorry, I'm yep. sorry, Michael." That's okay. 
That's all right. Sorry. That's okay. Well, anyway. His own union is asking on. the NBA to investigate LeBron. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, to, I know. Okay. It's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's That's ridiculous. Right. I was gonna it's say, ridiculous. Yeah. We get I it. Should, don't say that, Sharon. That's it's okay. Good. No, it's Come okay. It's all right. On. Officer Joseph. Come you on. have a right to. Come on. Yeah, we get it. We Can get we put it. him on with Sean Dorsey next time? Did we? we that's yeah. what we need to start I, I doing. We that. need to balance it out. I we need to have that. Uh, Cheryl point, Dorsey, wait her up. We need to, yeah. yeah. We'll do that. Mm -hmm.